the wide loads have hit sort of a beginning slash mid-season rut here. We have lost three of our last four games, and now we have a home game against the 6-2 and two pie to pie and their pitcher, Ace Von Asen. Obviously, with a name like that, he's a pretty damn good pitcher. But we're starting our ace as well in Chug Bourbony, so let's see if we can come out and get back in the win column in this game. The first batter for the Platypie is Scooter Sandbrick, who's been absolutely on fire. Very much a threat at the plate as he fouls off the first pitch. Let's hope that Chug Bourbon can come out here and have another pretty dang good outing. He's definitely been our ace, not just in the starting rotation, but in the bullpen as well. As let's give him an outside cut fastball, see if he'll chase it. He didn't want it. How about the slider away? Not too terribly away. As all that one's going to dribble in, and I think Scooter Sandberg might have two out of this. He will definitely have two out of this. Must be nice to have all that speed. For us, that's a stand-up single. As now in is Willie Bacon, who's not had incredible an incredible start to the year, or half of the year. I guess we're, this is the midway through, or the, we're past the midway point of the season, only playing 16 games, and he's batting below 200 as I can't find the strike zone. Bacon's going to send this one right up the middle as that one goes to our new look center fielder. Gosh dang it. So Bacon's going to be on second. So that was Jules Bergman in center because Fungo Akiro sucks. So he has been sat down and Jules Bergman will be our new center fielder for the time being. So that would have been a big out at the plate. Let's see if we can get him swinging a high one. He did not want it. That's a good looking slider though. So let's go for the out at home. Oh, we got him in a pickle. Get him. Get him. Get him, Chug. Nice. There's an out. All right, cool. Now we just got one and two. Oh, that's a bad pitch. Oof. Now we got one and two, one out. Double play is in effect. Let's see if we can get one here. Two strikes on old Muffin Studwick. <laughs> oh, that's... I don't think we can get a double play out of that, but he tagged him. That a boy, Chimo. All right. Chimo has also been moved to second base, and Masha Dong is now at short because she is a much better fielder. I was tired of Chimo not making those diving places. Hicks almost had one. Go yard first pitch, and that one's hit into the gap. Darcy Hicks. We might start this game off with a double. Go, Darcy. Yeah, he's not going to have three for sure. As that was a really weak throw from Willie Bacon. He may have had been able to get three, but a nice start there from... From Darcy Hicks, he's been an incredible leadoff as Masha Dong is now batting in our two hole. Let's see if she can do something as well. Masha Dong is just going to foul out to the catcher in foul territory. And that brings up Wade Hobbs, who's not been batting incredibly here lately. But that one's driven deep into center. Not going to get past Willie Bacon as Darcy Hicks is still stuck on second. Let's see if Hackliner can do something. He's got his RBI man thing in effect. Hack Liner sends one through the infield. Can he beat it out over there at first? He can, but Darcy Hicks. God, I hate the base running. Oh, he's safe too. Oh, thank God. Whew, okay, come on, Chimo. He's got power against lefties. Let's go, Chimo. Chimo, that's going to get down. That's going to get down. Nice, Chimo. Single for Chimo. We do score in the opening inning, and we now have a one-run lead as Elleroids is next. Batting 310, which has surprised the crap out of me. Almost, almost, almost hit a homer to walk it off in the last game as she's going to send one over to Kaufman at second, and that'll do it for the wide loads in inning number one. And there's a strikeout for Chug Burbany. That was Kaufman getting set down. She looked at the outside two seam, and she will be out number one here in the second. So we nearly had a home run tying, or a home, yeah, we nearly had a home run tie the game as that one's going to score the runner from third on who hit a triple because that one was way against the wall and we have zero speed in the outfield or anywhere on this team so now it's 1-1 just like that nice play Darcy Hicks over to Chug at one and we're out of the inning but it is still a 1-1 game here's Jules Bergman coming in for Fungo Akuro let's see if he can do something here I don't know why I always feel like I need to swing at the first pitch Here's Harmony Struess, who's been doing all right. She's going to hit one up the middle. First pitch, she's on first. 
She's tense and a little uh, little gassed playing catcher back there, but you know, Prince Prize sucks, so we're not going to bring him in unless we absolutely have to. Because here's Chug Burbany, I think. Whoa, we're going to try and get a bunt down here with him. As, oh, never mind, Harmony has, Harmony has literally no speed, so we might as well just either strike out with him or put something in play. Because it's pretty much a guaranteed double play if we bunt. As, oh, there's a double play anyway. Okay, cool. Probably should have just tried the bunt. End of the second. Chug Bourbony sits their leadoff man down on three straight pitches. He didn't even take the bat off the shoulder there. As now Willie Bacon is in. He looks at strike number one as well. Checked up a little bit. And he's going to drive one in to right center. I think Bergman's underneath it. And he's got it for three outs. A nice inning there from Chuck. So we've got the top of our order here. Let's see if Darcy Hicks can do something. Hicks is going to send another one up the middle, and he will be on second, or not second, on first to lead off the inning. He's been an incredible leadoff man for us, getting on base nearly every time. Oh, my God. Mashadonga got a hanging curveball in the left as she's going to hit it off the wall. Thank God, Jesus, Lord, that left fielder has a cannon. But that's a double for Masha. Honestly, I probably should have held her back because I, you know, had no idea that that was going to hit off the wall. But you know what? It's a double nonetheless, and Wade Hobbs is up. 3-1 to Wade Hobbs. Give me something to hit here. And he's going to walk him. So there's now bases juiced for Hack Liner, who has RBI, man. Already batting 456 on the year. I'd be walking him here. That was easy. Oh, get out. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? That's a grand salami for Hack Liner. Get the fuck out of here, man. Cannot give him that shit. He almost hit it 500 feet. Goodbye, baseball. Stepping in now is Chimo Gaspar. After the grand salami, he whiffs at a curveball that I probably could have hit in the next week. A huge hit there from Hack Liner nonetheless. Let's just see if Chimo can do something else with this inning so we still have no outs make that one as I was honestly a little too busy talking there probably should have been more focused on hitting hello roids though spanking one into center that almost got over the wall so we're gonna try to let to get two because Willie Bacon does not seem to have the best arm and she's gonna get there so an extra base hit for Ella roids and in come Jules Bergman who also has the power against lefties trait as we seem to just be a lefty, lefty hitting team. So I think that Chimo also has that trait. Well, that's going to get through the infield. Jules Bergman puts one through. That a boy. I thought the shortstop had it on the dive or the third baseman, whoever dove at it. So now it's runners at the corners for Harmony Struess. Come on, Harmony. Strauss, Struess. I feel like they always say her name different. Harmony's just going to send one to the first baseman. And that's a double play. Oh, nice catch, Hack. After a two-out triple, we had a little bit of a little, little scare there, but Hack Liner catches the line drive. And we're back to batting with freaking Chug. Not a prayer here. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. Chug Bermany got on. <laughs> oh, no way. Center or shortstop couldn't quite catch it. Back to Darcy Hicks. And he's going to send one into the outfield. Get this pitcher out of here. And I struck out with Mashadonga. Gosh dang it. So now they can get a double play the end of the inning. End of the inning. But it's not going to be a double play. Because I'm in a, a bomb with Wade Hobbs right here. <laughs> Almost had that one go out. Oof. That would have been a little lower. That would have been creamed. Oh, that one's crushed. Deep into center. It's really, really high. It better get out because we're sending everybody, and it did. Oh, thank God. I realized about midway through that that I probably shouldn't have everybody be, you know, already scored if that didn't get out. But Wade Hobbs hits an absolute moonshot into center, and this game's getting out of hand. It is 8-1 to one wide loads. Hack Liner drills another one into center on an absolute line. He just keeps either missing the zone entirely or putting them right down the middle as Hack's got another extra base hit as he stands in on second and in comes Chimo and they finally get in a new pitcher this is Remington Sharp 
Hella Royds hits another one up the middle, and we're going to send Hackliner all the way home. I do not trust Willie's arm, and it pays off 9-1 to one wide loads. An RBI there from Ella. As let's see if Jules can get her in, or at least get on base. As Yeah, that's not going to do it. Not a whole lot going, in, going on in the top of the fifth for the overdogs. There was a... Uh, was a hit by the pitcher because, you know, the pitcher always seems to get hits. As Chug is back up for us now after the grounder from Harmony. And Chug might get another one through the infield. Not quite. He's going to be thrown out at first, but he still did end up with one hit today, which is more than I expected. So here comes Darcy Hicks back up to the plate. So he almost got on again. And that was about the quickest bottom of the fifth that could have ever even happened. Oh, there's a strikeout for Chug Bermany. Willie Bacon sits down. On the inside, uh, two cut fastball, two seam. They're pretty much the same pitch. They just go opposite ways. All oh, that's getting destroyed. Yep, really bad pitch there from Chug, but it's all good. Hackliner sits him down over at first, and now in comes Muffin Studwick, as he is a wheeling and dealing right now. And into the bottom of the six, it is Masha Donga leading it off for us. Oh, well, she golfs one into center. That's not going to have anywhere near the distance to get over his head or get out, but. Still looks like a good pitch to hit as here comes Hobbs again. He hasn't been doing much here as of late. Well, never mind. He just homered. I'm an idiot. But let's see if he can do something else. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. Ah, shit. Back up to Hack. I struck out with Hobbs. Holy cow. All right. Focus up. Hack again is sending one into the gap in center. As we're going to send him two. Willie Bacon can't track it down. And he's got another easy double. Hackliner has been on an absolute tear here as of late. Chimo's going to send one into right as well, and that's going to get down. So Chimo's going to round first and head to second. He is super slow, but he's in there, and he's got an RBI as we are pounding the platypi. Elleroids is going to put one through the middle as well, as that'll score Chimo. And it's 11-1. to 1. It is a 10-run game. And yes, the difficulty is still on the same thing. We're still at 80 batting, 70 everything else. As they're bringing in a new pitcher, this is Kenna Floyd, who doesn't look like she's ever been up on the hill yet. She's got literally zero stats, and she had full energy. So There's another strikeout for Chug Burbany. He sits her down on the high heat. As in comes Tugboat Thomas, as Burbany is pitching well into the seventh here. Let's see if he can, well, he, might, he might be able to go full game. He really hasn't lost much, lost much statistically. And there's another strikeout for him. He will definitely at least stay in for the eighth. Because that means he'll have to bat again here in the seventh, actually. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we will get him out. We don't have any relievers with full energy or, or anything like that. And if Chug can stay in the game, by golly, we're just going to let him stay in the game. That way we don't eat up any more energy in our relievers, so... We're just going to let Chug hit here. It's already an 0-2 count, but she does have Kay Dud. I was figured that maybe means she throws a meatball there as he strikes out. Oh, well. He's been pitching an absolute gem of a game here. So let's see if Darcy Hicks can do something. Darcy Hicks is going to ground into a double play. Not what you want to see out of our leadoff man, but he's been hitting the ball incredibly since we put him there, so I'm not too mad about one double play. So holy cow, this girl has more power than the Hulk. Probably all coming out of those thighs. Good lord, lady. So I'm a little bit scared to pitch to her. Is up. She's just going to line out to Chimo. And we're on to the next batters. It's back up to Scooter Sandbrick. So Sandbrick's going to double. Or not double. He's going to single into the outfield. Just a ground ball past the infield. As this is Willie Bacon, who we are really not very scared of. So we're going to let Chug pitch against him as well. She's just going to loft one over the head of Gaspar. Gosh dang it, now he's headed for three. Can Bergman gun him out? No, he cannot. Is that? He's still locked in. You know what? We'll give him one more hit. That one really wasn't his fault. It probably should have gotten caught. Let's just see if he can get his way out of this jam here. A double play doesn't in the inning. Yeah, that's going to be the end of Chug's day. Gosh dang it. Yanked him, yanked him too late. So that's going to score not one, but two runs. Yep, now 3-11. to 11. Chug, it was a, it's been an incredible outing. But well, we got to bring in somebody new. We're going to bring in Chiron Throne. we got an eight-run lead, and he's got the most energy. Seems like the wise choice. 
as Throne gets him looking on the slider off the outside corner. That is a strikeout for Chiron. Throne, a nice start. Oh, gosh, especially with runners in scoring position. As he's got Kaufman in a 1-1 count. Can he get another one at the plate? So man, that slider he has is disgusting. I'll tell you what, that thing moves. As he does get out number three, and we'll probably let him pitch the ninth as we're back up to the top of our order. And the new pitcher for the wide, or the platypi as Mashadonga gets a leadoff single. Wade Hobbs already with a bomb today, looking for more. In the ninth, it's a 2-0 count. As yeah, that one's gone. Goodbye. Into right field. Just a hanging. I think that was a slider right down the middle over the heart of the plate. That ball gets destroyed almost 450 feet. It's Wade Hobbs has his eighth homer of the year. And we are going to get a dominant victory over the platypi here. As we come back in style, and I just whiffed on a whiffed on that pitch with Hack, and now, oh my gosh. I should not be missing on two straight breaking balls, I'll tell you what. If this was like a tense situation, I'd be super mad at myself, but we're up nine runs, so I'm not too mad because I'm literally swinging at everything right now. Oh, Hackliner still might go yard. That one's deep into center. I think he's going to get underneath it. Man, oh, man, that one looked just like Elleroyd's homer. Oh, not homer. Oh, looked like Elleroyd's hit from last game, the one that almost went out to end the game there in the ninth. So, oh, wow, that was that was in. Shimo dribbled one through the infield to get to first. Now Elleroyd's is back to the plate looking for more. Oh, my God, I could have hit that thing a country mile if I would have just not moved. I don't know if this pitcher is going to be able to finish the game. That's going to get down as well. We may just hit him out of here. They may have to bring somebody else in. As yep, it's finally going to be Stuby Tubrick. Cool. Against Jules Bergman. Oh my god, another one. If I had just not moved, I would have been fine. As Bergman's going to hit one through the infield. He's on it. Got a single as well. Is that will load the bases for Harmony? Question mark For Harmony Struess. Come on, Harmony. Big opportunity here. Horrible first swing. 0-2 oh, to Harmony. Can she do something? No, I struck out. All right, who else is up? Is it the pitcher? It sure is. Boy, the odds are stacked against him here, but I believe in a Chiron thrown grand slam. That's it. Find your pitch, Chiron. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That could have been the one. Throw me another curveball. Okay. Oh, I thought for a second. Just for a split second. And yeah, there's really no there was really no point in subbing him out there with a with a ten run lead just to bring in another closer to hurt some of their stamina. So we'll let him pitch the top of the ninth here. And this should be we should be well on our way to a victory here. As he's gonna get this man striking out looking. I don't even know who that was, but he can Sit back down. Oh, and another strikeout looking for Chiron Throne. He might retire the side on his own here in the ninth. So now he's got Tugboat Thomas, who's already in an 0-1 count. 0-2 to Tugboat. Get him, Chiron. Oh, dang it. That one's over to Masha. And the wide loads have won the game. Wide loads win it. We are on to 4-5 and five now. What a game from Chug Bourbony. Three hits for Hicks, two for Masha and Hobbs, four for Hackliner, three for Gaspar, four for Royds, two for Bergman and Strauss, and even one for Chug Bourbony. Five RBIs for Hobbs and four for Liner. Absolutely incredible day. Hobbs went yard twice, Hack went yard once. Chug Bourbony pitched seven and a third innings, only allowing nine hits, which, you know, whatever. Three runs, five strikeouts, probably should have pulled him a lot sooner. And then Chiron Throne came in for five batters and struck out three of them, which is pretty good strikeout numbers for us. As Hobbs and Hack will get the two player of the game awards. As Hack doubled twice too, dang Hack. Let's go see who we're gonna play next. So we will play the Platypi again in this next game. It would another, be another huge win if we can beat them, then we'd both be six and four, and we'd be second in the Epic Division standings as uh, that will be in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of the Wide Loads franchise. I appreciate all the love um, that we've been getting on this series, uh, and I will see all of you guys next time. Bye-bye.